got some mandarin orange crispy chickens and lightly seasoned seasoned chicken scallions and this is most of the stuff that I like to get which is from Guardian not too crazy about morning star but all this stuff is so yummy those crab cakes are tried the fish fillet so if any of you guys have tried it let me know i've tried the little meatless balls and those are also really good um these pizza packets <gasps> my pumpkin shopping for her meat <laughs> look at that phone seasoning that I like to use is the garlic as well as some fresh lime squeezed juice. Grab some of those and I'm probably going to grab each of these. Oh my god, I'm like knocking everything down. Organic strawberries. refrigerator should look like um excuse me get out of there this by the way guys is an addiction brownie batter hummus if you haven't tried it uh you need to get on it um all of our milks and i have coquito here if you're puerto rican you know what coquito is so yes um all of our veggies all of our greens excuse me dynasty i have some cilantro carrots onion spinach some zucchini and here is just a few fruits we have to get a few more fruits but we have some strawberries and blueberries hey kitties so i wanted to show you guys this cute little idea that i thought about for my fiance's birthday since her birthday is on the 10th and it's so close to valentine's day and we are both currently working on valentine's day so i decided to do something cute and i printed out a bunch of pictures um some of our favorite moments together and candles and wine is set up over there and more candles and a bunch of balloons so if you guys are looking for something cute and inexpensive to do for your significant other something like this is adorable good morning guys so it is Ev's birthday and she wanted some waffles and bacon and i'm going to be doing some little veggie sausages apple maple and she's making us starbucks inspired green tea lattes mmm that is good babe mm, like so good deal. it literally tastes like the real deal so um so I already put one ripe banana and I kind of mashed that up. And we're gonna make it kind of quick today and I'm just gonna use the this quick. So we're just gonna mix that and we're gonna use a little bit of almond milk. So, and of course, lots and lots of cinnamon. So how much do you love your latte? Like, it's bomb. I think it tastes better than the one that it's we probably used to coconut milk's better. Yeah. And you probably didn't put a shit ton of like coconut milk in it. Like, 
Starbucks says sometimes. So we're doing two cups of the Bisquick. <clears throat> and you can add one or two bananas, whatever you like, but I like to do like one is typically good. And now we're gonna do about a cup and a half of almond milk. Almond. Almond. And then I'm gonna add a bunch of cinnamon. And don't be afraid to add some cinnamon. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how it should look. All right, so I already poured my mixture in here. And typically, guys, I do my, you know, waffles or my pancakes from scratch using either protein, powder, and oats and whatnot. But we're kind of trying to do this kind of quick. So that's why I ended up using the Bisquick. For me, it's, you know, vegans can use Bisquick. Um, it's okay to use it. But of course, I like to do everything from scratch. But if you're trying to look for something affordable or quick, just use the Bisquick, add some bananas and cinnamon, and of course, some almond milk, and you're good to go. So, here's my little waffle maker. I'm just going to pour in the mix. And these waffles, guys, come out so fluffy I'm just going to make sure that it's nicely spread all the way through close it and that's it so I'm gonna make a few more waffles and then I will show you guys the finished product. my spread boo already freaking tore down the waffle and her bacon drinking her water and now we're just gonna watch some tv all right so can we talk about this hair though this is literally just using can two um curl activator cream and the diva curl light defining gel anyways so i am just gonna get ready right now because we are going to the magic basketball game the orlando magic is playing with the i think milwaukee so and we're celebrating my boo's birthday. So, 
I'm gonna keep it kind of simple because I'm gonna do a pop of color on the lips. So I'm either gonna go with this blue or this darker blue from Too Faced. Um, so I'm I'm not sure. We'll see. So yeah, that's what we got going on today. Let's get this hair out of my face. So. Alright, what are we going to start off with? Alright, primer. Alright, I legit need a facial so bad. Like, it's not even cute. I seriously need a facial. It's been like... Two months i think now and we have like this little monster that decided to pop up out of nowhere so yeah i'm gonna use my cover effects illuminating primer on top just to get a little extra glow all right so i'm gonna be using a little color correcting for some of this redness that i have going on All this red and this because this is not cute and what is this do you see that do you see that I don't know what these little breakouts that's why I know I need a facial and I know I need like a cleanse I've been thinking about doing a detox and I even bought some teas to to detox and just you know do like detox waters again which I probably will get into but we just have so much going on the month of February like we have friends coming in every weekend this weekend is my fiance's birthday there's just it's been non-stop like everything that we have going on the weekend before was um our friend's birthday as well so we've been celebrating like this February is insane insane so for foundation we're gonna use my I just I can't get away from this one especially like I know it's gonna be a little bit of a longer night so I'm gonna be using my Tarte uh, empowered hybrid gel foundation live for this foundation living Every time I wear it, people will literally tell me like, oh, what foundation do you have on? Because it looks like skin. And it really does look like skin. And it just doesn't like cake under like the eyes, it, your fine lines. It's just perfect. So, you know, of course, I've been using my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. I've been using that one pretty often, especially for work because it's really light. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it looks like this. Um, and the color that I'm in is tan sand. And this one is medium tan honey. But of course, I feel like the tan sand is slightly a little lighter, but it's okay because um, I could just bronze it up. I think I'm just going to show you guys how I do my foundation and then the rest I will do off camera and then I'll come and show you guys the rest of the finished look because I need to listen to some music while I get ready and you already know you can't just play whatever music you know especially on YouTube due to copyrights and all that stuff so I'll show you guys how I do my foundation and uh that is that And grab about that much and then you should use it with the brush and I tend to sometimes use it with the brush but I like how it looks with my real technique sponge and I don't know if you guys heard but real technique has I guess changed their sponges where 
now the sponges that they came out with have their logo on them but i heard that they're not that good so let me know in the comments down below if you've tried that or if you've heard anything of that sort i actually heard it from um watching yvette xo she's like one of my favorite youtubers and she loves using the real technique sponges and she ended up just copping like a shit ton of real technique sponges like the old ones because she was just like ah can't believe they changed it i guess she tried the new ones and they weren't that great so and my favorite sponges are real technique besides the beauty blender but lately i've just been on this real technique sponge you know kind of wave and look at my skin already it's my regular skin like look how nice it looks so i'm still trying to figure out lighting guys i have like huge soft box here a smaller one and i have like two here so i'm just trying to figure out the perfect lighting so bear with me guys and i'm legit super hyped that we're going to a basketball game because this is my first time going to a live basketball game isn't that crazy like, you know, professional basketball. Yes. Look who it is. It's the birthday girl. <gasps> Baby, you look so pretty. Look at her, guys. So, a lot of you have commented saying that you guys would like to see her a little more often. So let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see of us and if she's down she'll make a few little cameos look at you looking super cute she's aging like fine wine i need a, a lip gloss a lip gloss you have your lip gloss i don't know but i need something like Something with a little color? Not so much. Just like this one. Glossy. That one's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Nice face. Ooh! Look at them teeth. They look so white. Mm, good, aren't they? Yeah. So white. Work it down the neck. Because I say this all the time, guys. It is not cute when I see a girl with some bomb-ass makeup and then you look at her neck and that is not cute. Like, why? No, you do not walk around like that. Everything needs to match. Even, even... <laughs> Even your ears, you should be putting foundation on them because you want that to match perfectly. I'm like over here and you guys are probably like, what is she doing with the mirror? <laughs> I have a mirror right in front of me, but sometimes I need like a mirror like up close so I could see what I'm doing. You know, if I've missed any spots. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face, and I will show you guys the finished look at the very end. I will catch you guys later. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. Pretty simple, just a pop of lip and some lashes. I still got to do my little baby hairs, but that's basically it. This is my outfit, sneakers, high-waisted jeans, and... I am living for this look, guys. <laughs> Can we talk about this blinding as highlights? 